All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the garage. So this is my Tesla Model Y. It's my long range. I've had it for about a month now. Today, I want to do a project that I've been wanting to do the whole month that I've got this car, and that is get these front windows tinted. Now, when, most cars, when you buy them, the dark, see, you can see these back windows and then the, the rear glass, this, this roof, it, it, is glass as well those are all darkened from the factory but these front sliding windows are not and that's the same with most vehicles how the reason being is the tint laws are different in every state that they sell these in and so if you want these to get any darker you're gonna have to just customize into what your state allows as far as the uh, the, the tint darkness is concerned so i usually get my windows tinted in my vehicles because you can see the contrast from the back to the front windows it just looks odd that this one's dark this one's perfectly clear and transparent you can see you can see right through it so I want to get this tinted it really helps with the cosmetic look I think it really just makes the the, the car look a lot better you know just with kind of a more consistent uh, coloring of the of the glass this will be a little bit lighter than the front we're not going uh, super dark I think we're going 40 percent on the front as far as the the, the the tint shade is concerned but it also helps with the UV rays so like it keeps the UV rays out of the car it, you know kind of helps keep the the interior a little better does it keeps it a little cooler in the summertime so there is some other uh, benefits to tinting the windows other than just cosmetics. So we're going to get doing that today. Now, one thing I think is interesting with Tesla is when you go pick up your car at the dealership, there's no like, you don't sit down for an hour with the finance guy and get sold all of the, these different packages, window tint, PPF, per, paint, per, paint protection film, rust undercoating, uh, you know, ceramic coating, extended warranties, rust protection. I mean, there's so many things you have to say no to at a dealership and you buy a car that's so annoying. And that's why we all hate going to dealerships, right? All that stuff. You have to say no 18 times to get out of the door. Tesla, it's like, they don't even care. They, you just go in there, you sign something, you leave. Like there's no, there's no like upsell. There's no, there's no options to buy at the dealership. It's just, you just get your car and leave. And it's awesome. I love that fact. But for things like window tint, your PPF install, your paint protection film, that you, those you kind of have to figure out on your own. And I want to I do another video on this, but I want to just quickly mention the Tesla tax because Tesla is just kind of gained a, gained a synonymous uh, reputation that they're expensive vehicles and those that buy them have a lot of money and therefore they can pay more for services when it comes to your vehicle, which is usually not the case. Uh, so like, for example, when you go to get like your, uh, an electrician to come wire your house for your Tesla, or you go get this paint protection film or window tinting or accessories or things like that, that you need to have to hire someone to do with Tesla's generally, you're going to pay more than if it was another vehicle, even if it was a more expensive vehicle, but just Tesla just has a Tesla tax attached to it. And I hate that. I hate that, that, that there's a, that, that there's a stigma attached to the car that if you have one of these you can afford to pay more for these kind of services and so that's why i've attempted to do my ppf myself i'm doing my window tinting myself now i'm only going to do these front windows right here because the rears are already darkened and i want to just try it out and see how i do on these on these front windows because you know they need it first and i figured the you know it's not that big of a risk to, to take it on guys i got this window tint pre-cut it was on ebay i'll leave a link to the to the seller i use it was like shipped to my door it was like 21 bucks and then I already have some of the tools I'm still gonna use some of the same tools that I use on the PPF install so you just need a couple squeegees maybe just a window tin install kit there's one on there's a great one on Amazon I'll leave a link to so I'm gonna try it for 20 bucks guys of course I got to try this myself right it's gonna make a great video and we'll see how it turns out hopefully it turns out great there's a great tutorial on YouTube I've watched a guy window tint warrior he did a he did a, a model y window tint job and gave some great 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 tips so i'm going to kind of follow what what he's done so i'm in no way an expert a window tinting expert i've never even done window tint before but having conquered the ppf even though it's not perfect i feel that i have more confidence now to tackle the window tinting so let's uh let's see the the kit that i got and we'll get into the installation of that so what i'm doing is I'm just peeling away the excess here Now, if it doesn't peel out, you, it says you might have to get a razor blade and just score the line a little bit to make sure that it comes. But this is peeled up really easily. Oh, man. There was a, there was a little piece just that kind of tore off. 
that was excess. So I just want you want to make sure that it's you got a clean line all the way around. All right, we're going to loosen up the door panel so we can take this gasket out. And there's just a T30 Torx bit right under here that we're going to take out. All right, just a little black one like that. All right, I do have to remove this front speaker. So if we just get a little pry tool and come up to the Okay, at this point, I'm going to roll the window down, and that'll allow me to now kind of pull this panel back. Okay, with the door panel kind of pulled back, we can start removing this rubber piece right here. It's actually just a couple pieces. Oh, it's three right there. With the gasket loosened from those three little push pins, we can just pull up the gasket and remove it. It just slips onto the metal, so it's really easy to remove, and we can set that aside. Now to roll the window up, I'm just going to use the switch, but I need to put forward pressure on it so that it doesn't scrape against the metal. So carefully roll it up as you're pushing against it. And then also I need to get the window all the way in the up position. So I need to get a screwdriver or something and, and put it into the door lock me mechanism here and that will allow the, once I've engaged the lock, the window will go up into the all the way up, the up position and then I can get started cleaning the window. Alright, for this part, cleaning the window, I'm just using a towel to protect the door, the door panel and then I'm using a razor blade, a brand new razor blade, spraying some slip solution on the window and then scraping the entire window so that I can get all the dirt, debris, any imperfections in the window all scraped up so it's nice, clean, and smooth. Okay, now with the window clean and all freshly scraped, I can spray slip solution. I can remove the tint from the backing paper, which I'm doing right now. And then as I'm removing it from the, from the other paper, I'm spraying it with the slip solution. And I'll be able to place it on the window and start getting it into place, lining up the edges. Okay, so here I'm just using the slip solution to be able to spray around the edges where there might be some places where it's a little tacky. Spray that in there. That way it can move around on the glass. That way I can get into position. Where I want it positioned is to have it a, a little bit, a couple of millimeters off the top of the glass. So that way that's not going to get disrupted as the glass moves up and down. So not exactly to the top, just a, a millimeter or so below the top edge of the glass. And then I need to tuck it in here. The hardest part is just getting it tucked in where this where the front speaker is right in the very front part there's a kind of a tight gasket right there that you have to really slip the tint into that area there with kind of a, a harder card type tool once you get that in there you can kind of press it against there get it in there so I'm working on that first making sure that I can get that in then I'll be able to squeegee out all the rest of the area pushing all of the water out through the edges and then any fingers that are left I can get the heat gun and heat up those areas and get those uh, worked out. Once you get towards the end here and you've got all the water squeegeed out to the sides and down towards the middle, you've got these fingers here kind of in the middle and getting the heat gun on those really tend to help. So I'm just going to press out the water through these, get the heat gun on those, heat them up and get those pressed out. That's going to really help them stay down and really form to the shape of the glass. Now I'm just going to wipe down the whole window so I can see exactly if there's any bubbles, any areas that I missed that I need to kind of squeeze, use the squeegee on. I'm using the towel here just to kind of wipe the edges, kind of get that, help get that water out of the sides. Uh, overall, this uh, side turned out really well. Uh, no bubbles, no, no dust, no lint underneath the film, which is the big problem when it comes to uh, installing this tent, that there's none of that underneath there. All right, guys, so I got it all squeegeed off. Uh, looks like I got all the bubbles, all those fingers that were developing here, just a little heat on those and pressed them down a few times. Looked pretty good. Uh, my edges all look good. So I don't see any bubbles. I don't see any debris under this. Uh, looks actually really good. So I'm going to put this gasket back on, the speaker on, hook this back up, screw that back in, and the driver's side is going to be this exact same procedure as this one. So uh, we'll see how that one goes. 
All right, when you're rolling the window down without the gas, the gasket's not in yet. You just want to push pressure against so the, the window doesn't press against the metal. Quick tip on this, the, the gasket you take it, you want to make sure there's no slack in this. You want to make sure this gasket's pushed all the way forward. So this is this is area is tight right here. Just like that. Oops, you probably shouldn't have rolled that down. All right, guys, this win the windows turned out great. It really, uh, it really has a great look. To you can kind of see how the uh, the back and the front window kind of match a little bit better. The, the darkness, it uh, wasn't as hard as I was thinking it'd be. Um, went on, went on pretty good. No issues or problems. There's a couple little bubbles, but that's normal. I, I with other tent jobs that I've had done, they always say t bubbles will go away in two or three, four days. So I, I'll I'll see how it looks after that time. Should be good. Um, and then putting the car back together was pretty easy. So I'm glad that I tried this. I'll, let, I'll keep you guys updated if there's any issues or problems after about a week or so. But I'm going to keep the, the windows from rolled down. I'm just going to keep them up the whole time, probably for the next uh, couple days. One thing is weird, though, with, the, with these Teslas, because they have the frameless windows, anytime you open the door, the, the window does drop down. So it's almost like you're rolling the, the, the window down. So just want to be careful with that if you see the, the window film moving at all when you're moving it. But it's got a great look to it. And I'm glad that I've tried this, and for 20, 21 bucks, it was totally worth doing this myself. So, anyways, guys, well, thanks for watching the video. Hope you found that helpful or informative. Uh, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments down below, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.